The Lord will come and he will not delay. He will illumine what is hidden in darkness and reveal himself to all the nations. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Welcome this morning as we come to continue that wait for the Lord. We come to receive him in this extraordinary way, in his word, in this Eucharist, in the faith of this community. As we come to encourage each other to stay vigilant, we recognize our need of his coming, we recognize our need of his mercy. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sin, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Mass is offered for the repose of the soul of Antita Benici. So let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that the coming solemnity of your Son may bestow healing upon us in this present life and bring us the rewards of life eternal. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Isaiah. Apart from me, all is nothing. I am the Lord unrivaled. I form the light and create the dark. I make good fortune and create calamity. It is I, the Lord, who do all this. Send victory like a dew, you heavens, and let the clouds rain it down. Let the earth open for salvation to spring up. Let deliverance too bud forth, which I, the Lord, shall create. Yes, thus says the Lord, creator of the heavens, who is God, who formed the earth and made it, who set it firm, created it no chaos, but a place to be lived in. I am the Lord unrivaled, There is no other God besides me, a God of integrity and a saviour. There is none apart from me. Turn to me and be saved. All the ends of the earth, for I am God unrivaled. By my own self I swear it, what comes from my mouth is truth, a word irrevocable. Before me every knee shall bend. By me, every tongue shall swear, saying, From the Lord alone come victory and strength. To him shall come, ashamed, all who raged against him. Victorious and glorious through the Lord shall be all the descendants of Israel. The word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be be to God. God. Send victory like a Jew, you heavens, and let the clouds rain it down. Send Send victory victory like like a Jew, Jew, you heavens, and let let the clouds clouds rain rain it down. I will hear what the Lord God has to say, a voice that speaks of peace, peace for his people. His help is near for those who fear him, and his glory will dwell in our land. Send Send victory victory like like a Jew, Jew, you heavens, and let let the the clouds clouds rain rain it it down. Mercy and faithfulness have met. Justice and peace have embraced. Faithfulness shall spring from the earth and justice look down from heaven. Send victory like a Jew, you heavens, 
and let the clouds rain it down. The Lord will make us prosper, and our earth shall yield its fruit. Justice shall march before him, and peace shall follow his footsteps. Send victory like a Jew, you heavens, and let the clouds rain down. Let's stand to greet the gospel. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Seek the Lord while he is still to be found. Call to him while he is still near. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. John, summoning two of his disciples, sent them to the Lord to ask, Are you the one who is to come, or must we wait for someone else? When the men reached Jesus, they said, John the Baptist has sent us to ask you, Are you the one who is to come? Or have we to wait for someone else? It was just then that he had cured many people of diseases and afflictions and of evil spirits and gave the gift of sight to many who were blind. Then he gave the messengers their answer. Go back and tell John what you have seen and heard. The blind see again, the lame walk, lepers are cleansed and the deaf hear. The dead are raised to life. The good news is proclaimed to the poor and happy is the man who does not lose faith in me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Happy is the man who does not lose his faith in me key closing words of today's gospel does not lose faith in me thank you to those who did not lose faith in us continuing to live stream mass yesterday and vespers even though we did not have the use of our base here at St Joseph's thanks to the continuing ingenuity of Monsignor Tony our multi-talented moderator who became our outside broadcast department moving us to one of our other churches St Pius for Mass and to our little house chapel last evening for Vespers. Faith is important. Have we ever lost faith? Do we ever doubt our faith? Of course we do occasionally. Faith is a strange thing. One of the best definitions of faith comes from the letter to the Hebrews in chapter 11. Here we find that faith is the assurance of things hoped for the conviction of things not seen. However, as we know, faith is something of a journey, and on this journey, we know times of confusion, dullness, and despair. Faith is certainly a gift, but we're often called to put it into practice against the harsh background of reality. In John the Baptist's case, it was the grim reality of a prison cell with its privations, suffering, and perhaps even torture. In his confusion and anxiety, he managed to get word to Jesus through his own disciples, asking, are you he who is to come, or shall we look for someone else? Jesus doesn't give a plain yes or no. He invited John's disciples to look at the fruit of his ministry, the blind receiving their sight, the lame walking, the dead being raised, and the good news being preached. Faith is a gift from God. But it's a mistake to think that we don't have a responsibility to increase and strengthen our faith. The light of faith is our greatest weapon against the wiles of the evil one. And quoting from yesterday's saint, St. John of the Cross, he's, he writes, When the soul is clothed in faith, the devil is ignorant of how to hinder her. Neither is he successful in his efforts, for faith gives her strong protection, more than do all the virtues against the devil, 
who is the mightiest and the most astute enemy. Many today wrongly think of faith as a kind of leap in the dark or an emotional response to God. The saint and martyr Edith Stein, who was put to death in Auschwitz by the Nazis, taught wisely, faith is not a matter of imagination or pious emotion, but on the contrary, it is an intellectual recognition and a voluntary acceptance by the will. We can base our lives on the rock of Christ and the sure foundation of the truth of our faith. And it's more certain than the air we breathe and the gravity which holds us to earth. True, events, circumstances, disappointment, tragedy, hurt and suffering can knock our faith. But if we hold firm and ask the Holy Spirit for grace, our faith will be purified and strengthened in the crucible of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the sacrifice of our worship, Lord, we pray, be offered to you unceasingly to complete what was begun in sacred mystery and powerfully accomplish for us your saving work. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he assumed at his first coming the lowliness of human flesh and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago and opened for us the way to salvation that when he comes again in glory and majesty and all is at last made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hope. 
And so, with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Richard, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who've fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever 
and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ.
Let us pray. We implore your mercy, Lord, that this divine sustenance may cleanse us of our faults and prepare us for the coming feasts through Christ our Lord. I hesitate slightly to say what I'd planned to say by way of the notices, which was to, to thank Father Roy. I thought, I'll wait till he's gone and then he won't be embarrassed. I wanted to thank him because Monday, uh, in preparation for the use of the church yesterday, I pretty much stripped it back. It was like Good Friday Plus. Um, there was hardly anything uh, here at all. Um, I arrived, I thought, early this morning uh, to start putting it all back to discover that he'd done it. Um, which uh, when you go to sit down and you can be confident that the chair really is there, you know it's a brother that you can trust. Um, I say I'm hesitant because he then uh, said something nice about me during the homily and it's starting to sound like a mutual admiration society. But I can't help thinking in many ways that's not a bad thing. It wouldn't be a bad hallmark of us uh, as a whole parish community, that sense of encouraging each other, being grateful to each other for all that is done. There is an extraordinary amount done in the parish. I know that because we've been working on the end of year report, looking back over all the various events that have happened even in this um, a semi-lockdown year. And there's more that can really be fitted into the space that we have planned. So thank you to all those who do an extraordinary amount for the parish, for the stewards who've made it possible for us to be here this morning, uh, for, for the reader, for other ministries, uh, for the live stream that have enabled you to join us. And thank you particularly to Nick. I'm not sure he, he's been thanked properly yesterday for, for all that he did yesterday. He pretty much spent the day live streaming uh, and then in the evening uh, for the event itself. So thank you uh, to, the, to the team. He'll be back on duty again this evening, 6 p.m. evening prayer. If you have any intentions, do please send them in. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life.